transformation plan that utilizes the powers of magic. The proliferation of science and technology. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about 10 lessons from self-made billionaires. Now, these are people who have accomplished great things in life. And you know, in terms of financially, they are more than stable. So let's dive right into it. And being a self-made billionaire is not an easy feat. And what I really want you to get from this video is the fact that it's not impossible and that just like we're able to navigate the journey that we call life, it's the very same way that we'll be able you know, to, to accomplish the, the great things that they've done. It's all about you know, resource usage and mindset. That's what I get uh, a lot from content and the, the advice that these billionaires would have shared is that it, it all boils down to mindset and we have to learn how to look at everything in a very positive way and we have to definitely learn how to cope and how to look around nature. I remember going to a book launch recently and you know for, for one of my really good friends, Miss Chantal English, and she said that she's going to write a book about, you know, lessons from a, a, a caterpillar, lessons from a scorpion, lessons, these things that we have, sex, these living organisms, even the, the non-living, there's a lesson, there's a lesson that we can get from them, right? So let's dive right into it. So the first lesson is from Richard Branson. So Richard Branson is actually the CEO of the airline Virgin. You know, in the Caribbean, we will definitely, you know, know of Richard Branson for his endorsement in various projects that all relate to renewable energy development. So he has been doing great things. He has the Branson Center of Entrepreneurship. I know we have an office here in Jamaica. So he has been supporting entrepreneurs, supporting young people's involvement in development. So the first lesson from Richard Branson is dream big. And I have a little snippet to read. So he says, dreaming is one of humanity's greatest gifts. It champions aspirations and he goes on to say that you know if it wasn't for dreaming there would be no art no moon landing no women in leadership no adventures and so he posits that the benefits of dreaming far outweighs the perceived risk associated with dreaming and so he's just basically saying, dream big. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. Just whatever it is that you want to achieve, dream about it. See yourself in that BMW. See yourself running that $500 billion US revenue a year business. And one of the things that I absolutely love about what Richard Branson has said is the fact that he highlights that you know it's it's not about accomplishing the dream because we'll dream big now it's not all the time that we'll accomplish what we would have dreamed or hoped for but it's the inspiration of you believing in yourself believing that you can achieve this believing that you know just dreaming about it it, it can come through some way somehow the second advice is actually coming from mark zuckerberg who we all know is the founder and ceo of facebook so mark's message to us <laughs> is uh, you know be willing to make big bets 
this advice is something that he would have followed back in 2006 when he launched the newsfeed feature of Facebook. When he launched it, a lot of people were complaining, saying, you know, they want Facebook to go back to the way it was. You know, people don't really like change. But he and his team believed in the newsfeed feature. They found that it would have been a wonderful way for people to express and share their opinions. And fast forward to today, it's one of the most used features. A lot of us use it to share inspirational uh, quotes. We use it to share stories, we use it to tell people about what's going on in our life and, and give updates and all of these things. So it, it's, it's a feature of Facebook that I think most of us even joined it for so that we're able to share the good news with our friends and families. Uh, you know, and so if it wasn't for Mark and, it, and his team, you know, having the will to stick to, to that big bet, to, to stick to, to what it is that they would have instituted, uh, and not listen to the naysayers, not listen to popular opinions. Can you imagine being a CEO and, and you're not you're you're not moved by popular opinions, you're just continuing to do what you want to do and, and lead in the way that you feel fit? Like yeah, self made billionaire. The third advice is coming from Mr. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs from Apple. Alright, so Steve Jobs actually says obsess over details so something that we don't necessarily know about steve jobs is that he was actually known to be a very ruthless person and that's because he pays keen attention to details and we know how them kind of people they stay them very picky and you know to like get feedback from them because they don't miss anything at all any small detail any small change them not miss it right and so He's saying that you need to obsess over details. So just as how you don't like when these picky picky people, but the detail, you see, a lot of times we don't realize how much details can affect us and ruin our reputation. So even as employees, as most of us are, or as students, you know, the details in our essays, the details in our papers, in our proposals, in the letters and the emails that we're sending, those details are very important. And so you must obsess over details and start, it, start scrutinizing your own work, start scrutinizing yourself, begin with you, and then you can start helping others so that they can see how important it is that details are, okay? So now we're back at Mark Zuckerberg again, or for the fourth advice, and Mark, is advising us to apologize when we mess up it's so interesting to see that when it is that you ask for tips these are the very things that they're going to be saying to you they want you to just be a better person change your attitude know that you're not bigger than anybody in this life and it's just what will get you through it's it's the these qualities these characteristics are what will make you a billionaire whether financially or <laughs> apologize when you mess up a lot of us we don't like to apologize we don't even like to acknowledge the fact that we messed up as soon as Facebook gets in trouble the first thing you're seeing is Mark Zuckerberg on TV or in from Parliament you know he's coming to make a public apology no matter how big you are you can mess up you can get on people's nerves you can do something that you know you might have had a complete misjudgment and you might be at fault you might not be at fault but at the end of the day you want to have enough humility to be able to apologize when it is that you've gone wrong the fifth advice comes from Richard Branson and he said that you should love the journey love the journey and this is something that we say quite often as young people as old people as middle-aged people we all have to love our journey everybody's journey has ups and downs there's nobody who is living a picture-perfect life and we must appreciate life for what it is we must appreciate the journey for what it is there is value in the downs and of course we can appreciate the value of the ups but learn the lessons that come with the down and appreciate every bit of it 
take none of it for granted. Love the backbone that you grow from the, the hurt and the disappointment and the discouragement. Love the, the hope and the, the feeling of liberty that you get when it is that you're in an up feeling or when you've accomplished something great. And these together will create a, a wonderful person. You, you're on your way to becoming the next self made billionaire. Our next piece of advice comes from Bill Gates, and we all know Bill Gates, Microsoft. Bill Gates' advice to us is to seek simple solutions. And I have a little scripture to read from Mr. Bill Gates. He says, The barrier to change is not too little caring, but too much complexity. So what he's saying is that the barrier to change is not that people not care. It's just that people overcomplicate them too much and it, they make it so overly complex. We fear things that look too complicated, that look too complex. We just, you know, you don't want to want to tackle that. And he goes on to say that we need to start seeing problems. And the very same way that we see the problems, the very simple way that we look and we see that this is a problem, we need to look at it and just try to envision a solution. A very simple solution, not talking about a quick fix, but something that is efficient, that turns the efficient use of resources, something that, that speaks to the efficient use of time. And you know, we as humans will love simplicity. It is the best, right? And it makes life so much easier. We could go and listen to where Bill Gates was, right? Self-made billionaire. So we're back with Richard Branson with a very simple advice. Be yourself. And you know, everybody else is taken, so why not be you? And you know, it's very difficult for most of us to be ourselves. And I know it probably sounds very weird, right? Like, why it, would it be difficult? Because, you know, sometimes we fail to accept who we are. We fail to accept where we come from. We fail to accept the realities that we live in. And so we create a completely new person with new accents and everything. And we just are trying to fit in a one circle where we're never born, you know. Not saying that you cannot grow into a, a, a circle that that's that's much greater and, and you know much multifaceted than the one that you were born into but you don't want to fake it you want it to you want to to work and when you get there you get there eighth advice comes from bill gates and it says give back and you know him being such a world philanthropist it's not shocking that he would have given this advice and i just want to encourage you that you don't have to be rich to give back you can start with the little that you know now you can start doing videos on instagram or posting a status on facebook <laughs> you know utilize the newsfeed feature share the knowledge that you have help someone along the way do you know reach out to people who you know have, might have been struggling with something whether it is that they wanted to start a business or they wanted to further their education and they just need some assistance with finding a uh, financial aid they just need some advice they just need some encouragement and then you can probably organize a little webinar where you can share the information with more than one with more than one individuals the ninth advice comes from my favorite Elon Musk because he's a scientist yes so Elon's advice to us is to stick to our mission so Elon's mission is actually to help the world to achieve sustainable transport and energy and he's advising us to just stick to our feel stick to what it is that the, the, the causes that we believe in don't try to be somebody who is all over the place and you know that's something that a lot of us kind of struggle with I too struggle with that because I have split interests but at the end of the day you know I feel like I lean more towards the the promotion of science and technology as it pertains to its role in development and sustainable development and when it comes on to climate change renewable energy i am your girl right and you know i'm 
even interested in environmental law, environmental policy, but it all falls under sustainable development and that's just me. So it's 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 hard to kind of stick to your mission. But you know, I love this advice because it helps us to streamline our energy. It helps us to streamline our focus. It helps us to learn what we need to learn, gain the experience that we need to gain in a specific field so that we're able to play the role that we were made to play. For the 10th point, I want you as a self-made billionaire or as an aspiring self-made billionaire to drop your 10th advice in the comment section below based on all the advice given and tell me what you think should be number 10 like share and subscribe thank you so much for listening